Hello. Can you hear me? Corina, can you hear me? Hello, yes. Very good. Flor, can you hear me? Here. Raul? Hi. Nelly, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Very good, welcome back. You know, as you can see, I'm in San Francisco. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you know, I was playing, not playing, but I was searching the platform. <laughs> so I clicked wow. on the thing that says, put a background. So I said, okay, let's check San Francisco. But I thought that I had deleted the application, but look, I'm in San Francisco now. <laughs> I'm going to fix this when we finish the session. <laughs> All right, so how was your weekend? Excellent. Good. Did you do anything special? No? Yes, I, I do. My grandchildren. Your grandchildren? Uh, was celebrate was celebrated uh, his birthday. Oh, okay. And we have a party. We had a party here in my house. Good, good. You're in Santana, huh? Yes. I, I was in Santana Saturday and Sunday. And I went to a piñata on, on, on Sunday, too, in Santana. Yeah. So it was last, week, last week, we have here in Santana the Panachucos Festival. Yep. And it was um, <laughs> extremely... Um, Many people. Right. Too much people. A lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Okay, good. So, can you refresh my memory and tell me what we did last class? Let's have a small review. Anybody? Uh, I forgot it. Okay, you can check your notes. Anybody? We we saw the pronunciation. Okay, what pronunciation? What pronunciation? The difference between nouns and verb. Good. Okay, so yes, when when you're talking about pronunciation, um even though you're using the same word, um, if it's a verb, it's going to sound one way. If it's a noun, it's going to sound different. So um, you guys have to practice that whenever you guys are using the language. What else? Anything else from last class? Do you remember? Uh -huh. We practice uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, on Friday, we, we were reading about a, a paragraph about the neighbor. Yes, yes. Uh, and what was the information in the article about the neighbors? Sometimes some neighbors are difficult, but your neighbors. 
Yes, problems with the neighbors. And what are those typical problems that we have with neighbors? <laughs> Carlos, do you remember those typical problems that we have uh, with the neighbors? No. Okay. Flor? Uh, parking in the parking in the street or oh, in front of your house. Exactly. Parking in front of your house. Yes. Um, in the, garbage. Garbage. the garbage. Yes, the garbage. Uh -huh. My goodness. <laughs> Your pet? <laughs> huh? The pet? Pets. The dog? Right. So, so what is the problem that we have when we talk about pets? What's the problem with having pets? The dog. The noise. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yes, the dog. They bark a lot. Any other things that they do that get you irritated? <clears throat> they poop in front of your house, or maybe. Right. Yeah. They go in front of your house. They do what they have to do, and nobody cleans. Yes. You have to clean like if the dog was yours. So it shouldn't yeah. be like that. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? All right, so our first activity, before we go to the first one, which is, we has a little bit of explanation, um, I'm going to make groups and listen carefully. You have to talk about the things you did on the weekend. Let me ask you this. If you talk about things you did on the weekend, which tense are you going to use? The past. Simple past. past. The simple past. past. Very good. What's the auxiliary that I use to make questions? Did. And what happens to the main verb? In main form. It's a simple person. Base form. Base form. Baseball. Okay, now what happens when the information is negative? What's the auxiliary? Didn't. Okay, and what happens to the main verb? In base form. Base form. What happens when the information is positive? When the information is positive? When the information is positive. It's impossible. The verb, the verb, in past, the verb, in the verb in past. Simple past. Okay, so yes, simple when the information past. is positive, the form of the verb is in past. We yes. have regulars, we have irregulars. If you're using regulars, you know that the you're going to use... You need to change the form. Right, and you pronounce, uh, and you include ED. <clears throat> now remember that ED has three different sounds. You can say T like in worked, you can say the like played, or you can also say ed, like when you're saying wanted. If you're using irregulars, then you know that the verb has to be in past form and therefore it has to be different. Are we ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to yeah. make groups. You will talk about the different activities you did on the weekend, <laughs> but I want you to use past tense and make questions. Let me give you an example. If I say, I went to Santana on Sunday, what can you ask me about that? When did you go did on you Sunday? In Santana. Okay, what did you do in Santana? I went to visit a friend because it was his daughter's birthday party. Give me another question related to, I went to Santana on Sunday. What do you eat at Santana? What did you eat in Santana? Well, my friend, he had some delicious panes con pollo and I ate too. Panes chucos. No, panes con pollo. Well, maybe they were chucos, but they didn't say anything. I should have asked the lady, like, are they chucos? 
Okay, so I'm gonna make rooms and I'll come back to you guys. Okay. okay. All right, okay. we got 16 people. I'm going to make four. Here we go. No. Daniel, Raul, Annie, the two Daniels. Two Daniel, we are here. Two Daniels. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so talk about your weekend. Okay. Daniel. <laughs> okay, okay. That's. Yeah. What did you do in. Jose Manuel? Oh, yes. here, and we 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 had many uh, guests, many guests in in our house. <laughs> was, uh, I saw <laughs> was uh, a very uh, funny day. Nice. Congrats. What part of Santana are you in, Corina? Ciudad Real, I, you said? I live, no. I live near from Club Deportivo. Uh, which Club Deportivo? Um, Another reference point? In Colonia Santa Leonor. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, never the, mind. The, the whole route. It is Santa in Santa Ana. Ana. <laughs> what? Cody, the, the, the older route to San Salvador. Yes, older to go to uh, Ciudadans Street. Uh huh. Near, Near there. Mm -hmm. Not exactly. Not exactly. But uh, it's in, in that way. Okay, fine. Okay. Xiomara, how was your weekend? Uh, I did nothing, but I I take a, a nap on... You took a nap? I took a nap. Sorry. No, it's okay. And cousin... What do you do, cousin? I made a lot of things in my house. I, I got re dressed. I rested? Yes, I rested in my house and, and made a lot of things. Okay, you did a lot of things. <laughs> you did. I did a, a lot of things in my house. Okay. And the most of the time, I stay resting. Good. Resting. Very good. Very good. You, you don't work Saturday, Shanita? Yes. Actually, I work only the, the morning uh, from 9 to 12. But in this case, in this Saturday, I didn't work. Oh. Good. So you rested. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay. 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 Yeah. And what about who 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 else? The afternoon. Um cleaned my our cleaned. Home. Clean. cleaned. In our home. And what did you buy in the shopping? Um, I I shop. No, I bought. I bought. Um. Ooh, I don't know. Say telas. Fabric. Um, fabric. fabric. Fabric, okay. yes. 
fabric for my dress uh, for my daughter. Ah, okay. Yes. You're going to make a dress? Uh, no. Um, uh, uh, a friend? Uh, She's going to make it. Your he, friend is he, going to make the room uh, at the dress. Yes, the dress, yes, yes, yes. And only and Nelly. Nelly. I I I went uh, the Saturday. I went to my cousin's wedding, and uh, I it it I went to La Unión. My cousin is. From La Union, so I went to La Union to her her wedding, her wedding, and that what I went so Friday, and I visited my parents too, um, and came back Sunday, so it was a a trip. Oh, what um, part of La Union? La Union, La Union. Oh, nice, nice. Yes. Good. Who has you, it? Uh huh. Did you go on uh, lunch? No. ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say lunch? Oh, boat. 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 No, no. I, ah, I, okay. I don't I go can't. in boat. Uh -huh. I, I can't, didn't I go. I didn't go. Exactly. I live in La Union, it's not needed going in boat. So mm -hmm. okay. there are a lot of islands there, but yes, it's, it's beautiful. I don't, I don't live in an island. Yes, it's beautiful, but it was so hot. Yes. 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 Okay, I'll come back with you guys. We'll almost go back to the main session. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. And what's the you? Who are you? Hello? Manuel? Here, Manuel. Here, us. ¿Cómo se dice? No se escuchas. Here. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I can see uh, other members of the group. Only. Es que no, pero no, no me escucha. Okay. Yo. Roberto, can Hello. you have problem? Can, can you hear me? Yes, I can. And, and you can hear the others. Only, yes, but I can see other members, only plot. Oh. Okay, so that, that might be something with your computer because I see Roberto, Manuel, Flor, and Ricardo. Yes, and Ricardo, mm -hmm. I don't, don't see, I don't see. Yeah, Ricardo is shy. He doesn't want to show his picture. <laughs> <laughs> Ricardo, show your face. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to return to the picture. Yes, Ricardo. He says later. Why I can't. Voy a empezar a meter al. Aquí, miren. Aquí está. Principiante, tengo que entrar de aquí. Principiante, modo Y ahí. Ya. Me escucho. ¿Tú me escuchas? Sí. ¿Quién eres? Sí. Bien. All right, so here we go. Um, have you had the chance to use the platform? Yes. Okay. Um, in the platform, there is one activity uh, related to the stress in syllables when you are pronouncing. 
Um, let me show you this. It's right here. Do you see the document? Yeah, yes. Okay. Um, all the all the words that we have here are easy to identify. Why do you think they are easy to identify? Any ideas? Maybe because it's similar to Spanish. Very good. That's exactly why they're easy to identify. Because all this vocabulary exists in Spanish. Right? Now, this is what I uh, want you to be careful on. Uh, this vocabulary, we have it in Spanish. But in Spanish, the stress of the syllable is different. How do you pronounce number one? Catholic. 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 Okay. Catholic. Now, in Spanish, we say Catolico. Where is the stress? Catholic. Exactly. But English is different. You don't say Catholic. You say Catholic. 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 How many syllables? How many syllables? Catholic. Catholic. Three. 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 Three syllables. Three syllables. And remember, even though the word is almost the same like in Spanish, pronunciation is very different. So you say Catholic. 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 Uh-huh. Number Catholic. two. Number two. Friends. Catholic. Friends. Friends. Now remember, listen, 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 listen. Number one, I heard someone say Catholic, but it's not Catholic. It's Catholic. 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 Okay, Catholic. number two. How do you pronounce number two? Transparent. You, you see color blue? Yes. Yes. Okay. That tells you. That tells you. That's where the stress is. Transparent. 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 Uh huh. So. Let's say you go to a formal meeting and maybe the gloss you want to use, it's too transparent. So they say, please change that gloss. It's too transparent. So how do you pronounce number two? Transparent. 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 Okay, so I want you to like, do you have pen and paper with you? Yes. Yes. Okay, so if you have pen and paper with you, I want you to write these words. How do you say subrayar in English? Underline. 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 Very good. So I want you to copy this vocabulary and underline where the stress is. So let's return to number one, Catholic. Where's the stress? Catholic. Catholic. In the first okay. syllable. Number two, transparent. 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 How many transparent. syllables? Three. 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 Where is the stress? The second. In the second. So you say transparent. Number three. Category. Yes. Category. 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 Yes. Category. Category. How many syllables? Four. 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 Four is correct. Where is the stress? And the first syllable. First word. Okay. The first one. 
Now, what about this one here? Al Arar. Al Alter. 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 We have that word in Spanish? Yes. Yes, we do. The only thing is that in Spanish, the stress is in the second part. This mm -hmm. one here is in the first part. So you say alter. 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 And what is the meaning of alter? Alter. What's the meaning? Alter. Okay, but can you give me a small definition in English? It says monument. Okay. The same. Yeah, it could be. It's, it's a place using in the church to good. make a ceremony between two persons. Very good. That, that's a very nice, clear definition. It's a it's place a main, church a where you make place. ceremonies. Good. It's a main place of the church. Exactly. Yes. You can say okay. like okay. the okay. most okay. important part. Very good. Okay. Okay, what about number five? Inevitable. 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 How many syllables? Five syllables. Five syllables. Five syllables. Very good. Inevitable. 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 Yes, inevitable. Where is the stress? Inevitable. Second. Very good. In the second one. Very good. Okay. Number six is mediocre. 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 Where is the stress? Mediocre. Mediocre. In the first one. Mediocre. The first one. In the third. Syllable. Okay. The first Did you one. Say that word, the stress is in the first syllable. Me. Mediocre. Yeah. Mediocre. 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 Now, what is the meaning of mediocre? The meaning of mediocre. Someone who doesn't do his job very well. Very good. That's a nice definition, Mary. Yeah, mediocre is a person that doesn't do his or her job mediocre. very well. <clears throat> so we can there say halfway. Vulnerable. Number seven, vulnerable. Number seven, vulnerable. 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 How many syllables? <coughs> Four. 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 Four is correct. Where is the stress? The second one. Second one. Second. Very good. Second one. Very vulnerable. good. Uh -huh. Vulnerable. What's the meaning of vulnerable? Yeah, it's a, it's a person or situation. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so it's a person or a situation that what? Maybe it's not safe in the situation. Very good, very good. So vulnerable means not safe. Mm -hmm. Vulnerable. What about number eight? Interesting. 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 Okay, how many syllables? Three syllables. Three syllables is correct. Where is the stress? In the last syllable. The first one. Interesting. In the first one. In the first one. Interesting. The last in the first one. Okay, remember, listen carefully. Interesting. 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 First one. The second one. Second. Interesting. The first one. No, the first one. The first one. The first one is correct. First one. 
Interesting. 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 Yes. So the stress is right there. Interesting. 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 Number nine. Comfortable. 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 Okay, Comfortable. listen carefully. Listen carefully. You say comfortable. 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 How many syllables do you hear? Three. 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 Three, Three is correct. Where is the stress? In the first one. In the first one. Very good. In the last one. Radar. 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 How many syllables? Two. Two. Okay. And where is the stress? Right, if you say the word in Spanish, the stress is in the second part. It's completely different. So in English, you say radar. 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 Now, what's the meaning of radar? Somebody please explain. Uh -huh. Anybody? Radar. Positive. To detect. Uh, airplane, I don't know. So. Okay. Good, good. Yes. Wake them up. <clears throat> okay. Um, any questions about the syllable stress or the meaning of these words? No. Okay. Now, this is something that you need to remember for the rest of your lives. You <laughs> see the word cognates? Yes. yes. Okay. A cognate is one word that exist in two different languages. Now, if you compare English and Spanish, there are many, many, many words that we have in common. So the 10 that we have here in this list is nothing compared with the big numbers that we have. And this is the reason why uh, you see a document and you identify a lot of information in it because many of the words that we have in Spanish, they also exist in English. Um, do you have any questions? No. No. Okay. Can you give me examples of other cognates that you know between English and Spanish? Go to Television. the chat. Okay, go to the chat and, and and write all the words that come to your mind. Hospital. Go to the chat. Radio. Taxi. Sensitive. Idiot. Doctor. Television. What else, people? Taxi. Imagination. What else? Animal. Us, Pacific, detail, relation, data, or data, whatever you choose. Uh, reputation, mystic, extreme. What else? Animal. Family, universe with E at the end, animal, music, real. Chair. Sure. What is this meaning of cognate? cognates? It's one word that exists in two different languages. Um, like the examples you are writing right now in the chat, those are examples that when you see them, you identify those words. Why? Because they exist in Spanish too. Fantastic, intelligent, oh my goodness, you're describing me. <laughs> uh, I, I said cognates. I didn't say give a description about Francisco, but it's okay. That's okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, so is everything clear here? Avenue, material, clinic, yeah. mom, medic, and many more. So, as you can yeah. see, those are cognates. Um, yeah. Any questions about pronunciation? 
So, you know. Is everything clear? Yeah. How okay. to identify uh, the threat and the syllabus? Good question. How do you identify the stress in a syllable? There is a, <laughs> there is no rule. It's just pure practice. Pure practice. Okay. Yes. Pure Remember, pure practice, practice makes perfect. <laughs> practice makes perfect. Okay, so let's go to our second activity. Teacher, sorry. Yes, talk to me. Could, could you repeat the the strength of the word com comfortable? Oh, comfortable. Uh, you, com comfortable. comfortable. Now listen in to this. Which, in which level? Okay, when you say the word comfortable, the second O is quiet. The second O is quiet, and that's, uh, okay. and that's the reason why you hear only three syllables, and you say comfortable, um, comfortable, 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 three syllables. Why? Because the second O um, yeah, is okay. quiet. quiet. Okay. All right, um, any other questions related with pronunciation okay. or distress? No. No? We're all good? All right. Yes. Oh, so this is uh, one of the activities you will see in the platform. You see the document? Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, what yes. is the name of this document? The name. Uses, uses and purposes. Okay, uses and purposes. Or two plus base form. Okay, so listen to this. Look at the first example. I need a radio for what? I need a radio for listening to my favorite station. Okay, now look here. If you're going to use preposition for, that means that the form of the verb has to be ing. ing. Mm -hmm. Look at the second one. I need a I need a radio. I to need a radio to listen. Okay. So once again, if you're using for, the form of the verb has to be ing. ing. If you use the preposition to, yeah. then the form of the verb has to be. Base form. Base form. Okay. Oh, okay, let's let's check the, the next example. Why did she buy a car? Why did she buy a car? For taking her kids. For taking school. Taking her for taking her kids to school. to school. Okay, so she bought a car for taking her kids. Taking her. Now, if I want to say exactly the same message, I can do it, and I use preposition too. But the form of the verb, it has to be different. So she bought a car. Why did she buy a car? She bought a car to take her kids to school. Okay, is the message different? It's the same message. No. It's the same message. It's exactly the same message, but you're saying it in two different forms. Now, let me tell you this. The problem is sometimes when we're speaking, we make a combination of four with base four. We're taking. Or we make a combination of two with ING, and that's not good. So some people say, I need a radio for listen or mm -hmm. people say i need a radio to listening but that's mm -hmm. not good you're supposed to say for listening and you're supposed to say to listen to listen now look at the next one to listen it's an emergency and they say get a phone for calling the doctor please get a phone Get a phone for calling the doctor. Calling the doctor. Okay, so can I say this differently? Can I say get it in a, a different phone. form? Get a phone to call the doctor, please. Exactly. 
So get a phone to call the doctor, please. Look at the other one. Give us more time for what? For finishing the project. Or? To finish the project. To finish the project. Okay, and there you have it. Once again, when you're talking about uses and purposes, if you're going to use preposition for, then you need to use the ing form of the verb. If you're going to use preposition two, then you're gonna to have to use the base form of the verb. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Now, before we start doing the practice, let's go over vocabulary. What is the first one? Marker. 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 Second Marker. one? Dental floss. Dental, Dental, floss. floss. Dental floss. Number three. Uh, cup. Uh, number four. Pencil. Pencil, Pencil case. case. Pencil case. Next one. Pencil case. Wallet. 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 Key. Wallet. Key. Key. Jacket. 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 Mouthwash. Mouthwash. Garbage. 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 Garbage can. Garbage can. Low bag. Low bag. Low bag. Elbow pad. Notebook. 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 Model. Helmet. 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 Dish soap. Dish soap. Marketing. 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 Motorcycles. Motorcycles. Sunglasses. 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 Okay. So imagine Francisco needs a marker. Why does he need a marker? To write. Very good. The... To write the class. Mm -hmm. To write the what is another form to say it? Or write in the class. Very good. Now, what is the meaning of dental floss? Dental floss. For cleaning the, <laughs> the teeth. Okay. Your teeth. Okay, so to dental clean. floss is something that you put between your teeth. Between your mm. teeth. And what's the function? Clean. For cleaning. Okay. To clean. To clean. Uh, pencil case. Okay. Do you have any questions about vocabulary here? No. Me. Garbage can. Elbow pad. Okay. Is all the vocabulary clear? Yes. I have a doubt. Yes. The elbow pad. Elbow What's pad. the meaning of elbow pad? Elbow okay. Pad. Can somebody explain elbow pad? Anybody? Um. Okay. Imagine that you want to use your bicycle for protection. You put something in your elbows, something on your knees, just in case you fall. Okay. <coughs> I understand. Okay, so it's protection that you use for your elbows. Okay. Uh huh. Any other questions about vocabulary? Is a garbage. How the meaning of helmet? Okay, what is the meaning of helmet, class? A helmet that protects your your head. head. Yes. Your head. Very good. It's protection for your head. And it is used for the construction. Very good. Um. Who has, a, a, somebody has a picture of, of someone with a helmet. Is that Annie? Anna, yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 So if you see Annie's picture, in her profile picture, she's wearing a helmet, a yellow helmet. Yellow. Yeah, it's color yellow. Is okay. it yellow? No. It's white. No. It's oh. white. Maybe your, your shirt is yellow. Well, I don't know why I'm thinking about yellow. Okay. Okay. She's wearing a white helmet. Helmet. Teacher. Yes. I have a example of elbow help. pad. Elbow. Yes, Roberto. Yeah. Ah, uh, thank you. Can you see them? It. Okay. Somebody was going to say something. 
He's, he, he's yes, showing Mary. the uh, elbow pad. Oh, okay. Mary, you had a Thank question? You. No, I, I I only have a question. Garbage can? Uh-huh. What, what's the meaning? Um, what is the meaning can? of garbage? Can, garbage can. can is a container where you deposit garbage or trash. Mm, trash, okay. So let's say you're eating a hamburger and you finish eating the hamburger. What do you do with the paper? Through, Through the in garbage. the garbage can. Exactly, you put it in the garbage can. And if okay. nobody's watching, sometimes yeah. people throw it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Salvadorian culture. Salvadorian <laughs> culture. Like if you go downtown San Salvador right now, my goodness. Through the window. <laughs> you will find thousands of <laughs> pounds of garbage. Okay, any other questions about a uh, 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 pronunciation? Marker, dental floss, cup, pencil case, wallet, key, jacket, mouthwash, garbage can, elbow pad, notebook, helmet, pistol, marker sheet, tennis shoes, motorcycle, and sunglasses. Okay, any questions there? No. What's the meaning of mouthwash? What is mouthwash? Um, we we use that for fresh breath. Fresh, uh, 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 exactly. fresh breath. You seem to exactly like to improve your your clean of the mouth. Exactly, especially before you kiss your boyfriend or your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you have to. <laughs> No. Especially if it's a French kiss. But anyways, all right. So um, I'm going to make groups right now. I want you to use this vocabulary in practice for or two. For example, I need sunglasses for protecting myself from the sun. Or I can say I I need sunglasses to protect myself from the sun. So I'm going to make groups. Everybody in the group needs to participate. Here we go. Okay, start talking. All right. 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 All right. So start the talking. Okay. I'm going to start um, with okay, marker. Daniel. Just with marker. And <laughs> um, I need a marker to mark the principal titles. Uh, in my, I need to let our floss for the night. One more time. I need I need to let our, let our floss for tonight. Okay, okay. So you want to say I need dental floss for cleaning. Uh, for cleaning my teeth. Tonight. tonight, tonight. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, someone else. Okay. I bought a wallet uh, for saving my documents. Good. Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah. I need to buy a notebook for my English class. Good. Mm. You need the key for opening the door. Okay, for opening the door, good. 
I need a tennis shoes for exercising. 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 Mm -hmm. And uh, other members? Um, Flor, you were saying something? Yes, in the, uh, the sentences, for example, and the, in the street in my neighbor, neighborhood, uh -huh. there, are, there, are, there are garbage cans. Okay, which one are you doing right now? Carlos, uh, Flor, and Roberto, which word are you using right now? I, I use tennis shoes and, and garbage can and sunglasses. Uh, and, only. And dental floss. Dental floss. Dental floss. Dental floss. Dental floss. Yes. And garbage can. Another can be I need a helmet to protect my health, or I need a helmet for protecting my health. Very good. Carlos, can you give us an example? Uh, I use uh, dental floss. Uh huh. And but for what? Why do you need dental floss? Um, <laughs> I need only, only, only night. <laughs> okay, but remember, the idea is that you use one of the prepositions here. Like Roberto, he says, I need a helmet to protect my head or I need a helmet for protecting my head. So why do you need dental floss, uh, Carlos? I need, I need you, I need a dental floss. Uh-huh, for cleaning my teeth. Or cleaning my teeth. teeth. Or you can say, I need dental floss to clean my teeth, right? Okay. Right. Okay, good. I need you. If you are going to use the word for and we have the to bear. use the, the bear with ing. Exactly. Yes. That is correct. What else? I need a elbow pad for riding the bicycle. Very good. Oh. Keep talking. Keep talking. Atento. Eh. Attending. So I think is a double T. D N A D E N. Attending. Attentive. Attentive. Ah, sí, cierto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All night. All good. Very good. <laughs> she only drink cups of coffee. Yeah. She don't uh, drink water. Coffee. Coffee. To to be. Oh, se me pasa. Exactly. <laughs> to to be attentive be? all night. Attentive. Very good. Nice. Okay. Next. Pencil. Pencil. She needs a pencil. I need? She needs. I think I heard oh, she, I need. she needs. You, 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 you say that, right, Jose? Okay. You, you say I need, I need, Jose? She needs. She needs. I need a ah, she needs. Case. She needs a, she needs a pencil, pencil case, case. Uh, for saving my pencil. 
For saving? For saving. My pencil. Okay, what if we change her, pencil, her pencil for another word? So it doesn't sound repetitive, like she needs a pencil my, case for saving her markers. My two, markers. that one. Or crayons. Markers. I mean, your yeah, sentence is good. Saving her, her markers. Her markers? Markers. Okay. She needs a pencil to save, case to save to her marker. To save. Saves. To save. Oh, no. Base for markers. Her marker. Wallet. I get a red with your tennis shoes. I have sparkling. For clean cleaning, I guess for cleaning. For Your cleaning, teeth. Uh, yes. Uh, get the dental floss for cleaning between my teeth. Teeth or but this is mouth squash. Mouth squash. Wash, mouthwash. Mouthwash, mm -hmm. yes, mouthwash. Mouthwash. Okay, yes. Okay, um, we need to return to the main session. Okay. 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 The time has come. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's time for your body to go rest. <laughs> Tomorrow is a new day and you need to wake up really brilliant. A brand new start. So you go need you need to go you need to go charge your batteries. Okay. Right? So right. thank you for making the space again. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Have a good Bye. night, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.